Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of sustainable gardening, making your own Bokashi brand and cultivating beneficial microbes right at home. But before we dive into making Bokashi brand, I recommend checking out our video, Improve Your Garden Health with Bokashi Composting, which covers the entire Bokashi composting process. You can find the link in our description. Bokashi composting is an efficient method that lets you compost a wider range of kitchen waste, including meats and dairy, right in your kitchen without any foul odors. This method uses specific microbase to accelerate the decomposition process anaerobically. In this video, I'll guide you through every step of the process, from what materials you'll need, how to cultivate your own effective microorganisms, to mixing and fermenting your very own Bokashi bran. Let's focus on creating your own effective microorganisms, EM1, a vital component for making Bokashi bran. EM1 is a concoction of beneficial microbes, including lactic acid bacteria, yeast, and phototrophic bacteria, essential for speeding up the Bokashi fermentation process. To begin, prepare your ingredients. You can cultivate lactic acid bacteria using milk or rice wash water. For the rice wash, mix a cup of rice in two cups of water, stir well, and strain the milky residue. Combine this rice wash water with an equal amount of milk and let it sit at room temperature for about a week. The mixture will separate into curds and a yellowish clear liquid, which contains your lactic acid bacteria. Next, activate the bacteria by combining one part of the strained liquid with one part molasses and 10 parts water. This mixture should be kept in a tightly sealed jar equipped with an airlock or open daily to release built up gases and allowed to ferment for a week at room temperature. Once fermented, store the EM1 in the refrigerator to preserve its activity. This solution remains effective for up to six months and can be used as the microbial inoculant for your Bokashi brand. Now, keep in mind the importance of cleanliness to prevent contamination and be aware that the optimal temperature for fermentation is between 68 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Research indicates that EM1 can enhance the speed of composting by up to 30%, mitigate odors, and increase the nutrient profile of the compost. Additionally, the phototrophic bacteria in EM1 break down organic substances effectively and can improve soil health when used directly in the garden. By creating your own EM1, you not only gain an effective tool for Bokashi composting, but also contribute to a more nutrient-rich and sustainable gardening practice. Next is the process of preparing the Bokashi bran itself, a crucial substrate in Bokashi composting that carries the effective microorganisms, EM, to facilitate the fermentation of organic waste. To begin, gather your materials. You'll need wheat bran as the primary carrier for the microbes, molasses to feed the microbes and facilitate fermentation, and the previously prepared EM1 solution. The standard recipe for making Bokashi bran involves the following proportions. 10 kilograms of wheat bran or sawdust, one liter of molasses, one liter of your previously prepared EM, one microbial solution, and about six to eight liters of water. Start by diluting the molasses in warm water, 95 degrees Fahrenheit, ensuring it is completely dissolved. This solution serves as an energy source for the microbes during fermentation. Next, add the EM1 solution to the molasses mixture and stir thoroughly to combine. In a large container, mix the wheat bran, ensuring it is dry and free of any contaminants. Gradually add the liquid mixture to the wheat bran, mixing continuously. The goal is to moisten the bran without making it soggy. The ideal moisture content is about 30 to 35%, which can be tested by squeezing a handful of the mixture. It should hold together lightly without dripping water. Once the bran is evenly coated with the microbial mixture, transfer it to airtight containers or heavy-duty plastic bags. It's essential to press out as much air as possible before sealing the containers to create an anaerobic environment, which is necessary for the fermentation process. Store the sealed bran in a warm, dark place for two to three weeks to allow the fermentation to occur. During this period, the EM1 microbes will proliferate throughout the bran, making it ready for use. The temperature during fermentation should be kept between 68 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit to maintain optimal microbial activity. After the fermentation period, your Bokashi bran should have a sweet, pickled smell. If it emits a foul odor or shows signs of mold growth, this indicates contamination 
and the batch should be discarded. Once ready, the Bokashi brand can be stored in a cool, dry place for up to two years. Use it in your Bokashi compost bin by sprinkling a small amount between layers of organic waste. This helps accelerate the breakdown process, reduces odors, and enriches the resulting compost with beneficial microorganisms, ultimately enhancing soil health and plant vitality when incorporated into garden soil. This process not only recycles kitchen waste effectively, but also contributes to sustainable living by reducing waste and producing a valuable resource for gardening. Once your Bokashi bran is prepared and has undergone its fermentation process, you can begin using it effectively in your Bokashi composting setup. Here's how to proceed. First, prepare your Bokashi bin, which should be airtight and equipped with a spigot at the bottom to facilitate the drainage of liquids produced during fermentation. Start by adding a layer of organic waste. This could include kitchen scraps like fruit peels, vegetable offcuts, coffee grounds, and even traditionally non-compostable items like meat or dairy products. Sprinkle a generous amount of Bokashi bran over this layer to introduce the essential microbes that drive the fermentation process. Continue to add layers of waste, each topped with Bokashi bran, until the bin is full. Each layer should be compacted to eliminate air pockets, which helps accelerate the fermentation. Regularly drain the liquid from the spigot, which can be diluted and used as a potent fertilizer in a 1 to 100 ratio with water. This liquid should be used promptly as it can spoil if stored. Once the bin is filled, seal it and let it sit undisturbed for 2 to 3 weeks at room temperature and away from direct sunlight to complete the fermentation. The contents should have a pickled smell and a white mold appearance, indicators of successful fermentation. After fermentation, the contents are still acidic and need to be neutralized before they can be used as compost. Bury the pre-compost in garden soil and allow at least two weeks for it to integrate and stabilize before planting in that area. This process enriches the soil with nutrients and beneficial microbes, enhancing soil fertility and boosting plant health. If you have leftover Bokashi bran, store it in an airtight container in a cool, dry place to maintain its efficacy for up to two years. Managing a Bokashi bin is generally straightforward, but there are a few key practices to follow to avoid common issues. Firstly, it's essential to monitor the moisture levels in your Bokashi bin. The contents should be moist but not wet. Excessive moisture can lead to unpleasant odors and inhibit the fermentation process. If you find the bin is too wet, add a few handfuls of dry material, such as shredded newspaper or sawdust, to absorb excess moisture. Another crucial aspect is sealing the bin properly. Oxygen exposure should be minimized to maintain an anaerobic environment, which is conducive to the fermentation process. Always ensure the lid is tightly sealed after adding new material and sprinkling Bokashi bran. If odors other than the typical sour pickle smell are detected, it could indicate that air is entering the bin, which may disrupt the process. Odor management is a significant part of Bokashi composting. The process should produce a mild acidic or vinegary smell. If you encounter strong foul odors, it might suggest that the waste is rotting rather than fermenting. This situation can occur if the bin is too wet, not sealed correctly, or if not enough Bokashi bran was used. Adjusting these factors should resolve the issue. In case you observe any black or green mold, it indicates a contamination or an imbalance in the anaerobic process. This may be due to inadequate amounts of Bokashi bran or improper sealing. Removing the affected material and ensuring correct future layering and sealing should prevent further occurrences. Lastly, the leachate, or Bokashi tea, should be drained regularly, about every one to two days, to prevent it from becoming putrid, which can also affect the fermentation quality. The leachate should be diluted with water at a 1 to 100 ratio and used immediately on plants for its nutritional benefits. If not used right away, it should be disposed of down the drain to avoid spoilage. Once your Bokashi bin has fully fermented the contents, which typically takes about 2 to 4 weeks, the material is ready to complete its breakdown process in the soil. The pre-composted material should be buried in soil to finish decomposing. Choose a spot in your garden where you plan to plant in the next season or an area that could benefit from soil enhancement. Dig a trench or hole about 12 to 18 inches deep to prevent any disturbances by animals and to ensure that the compost integrates well into the soil. 
The depth also aids in faster breakdown by soil microbes, which are more active in these layers. Deposit the bokashi pre-compost into the trench and mix it slightly with the existing soil to integrate the microbes. Cover the pre-compost with at least 8 10 inches of soil. This layering is crucial as it helps contain any initial odors that emanate from the fresh bokashi compost and prevents attraction of pests and flies. The buried bokashi compost will typically take around two to four weeks to fully integrate into the soil. During this period, the soil should not be disturbed to allow the completion of the microbial activities that break down the organic matter into humus. This process enriches the soil with nutrients, enhances its texture, and improves its water retention capabilities. After the waiting period, the area will be ready for planting. The enriched soil will support healthier plant growth, increased yields, and more robust plant systems capable of resisting diseases and pests better. Regular incorporation of bokashi compost into your garden can transform your soil's health over time, promoting a more vibrant and productive garden ecosystem. For gardeners looking to boost their soil's fertility without the use of chemical fertilizers, integrating bokashi compost provides a sustainable and powerful solution that leverages everyday kitchen waste. This method not only benefits your plants, but also contributes to a healthier environment by reducing the waste and closing the loop on food nutrients within your own backyard. Making and using your own Bokashi brand offers a rewarding opportunity to transform your kitchen scraps into a powerful soil amendment that enhances the fertility and health of your garden. This process not only allows you to manage household waste responsibly, but also enriches your plants, ensuring they thrive and produce abundantly. By integrating Bokashi composting into your gardening practices, you contribute to a sustainable cycle that benefits both the environment and your garden. Whether you're a seasoned gardener or just beginning, Bokashi composting is an efficient, environmentally friendly way to boost your soil's nutrients and improve plant health. We hope this guide inspires you to start your own Bokashi composting journey, helping you create a greener, more fruitful garden. For more detailed guidance on each step of the Bokashi composting process, be sure to check out our video, Improve Your Garden Health with Bokashi Composting. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy gardening.